A DFL lawmaker is facing two ethics complaints at the state capitol. Six Republicans are seeking an investigation into allegations that Senator Omar Fateh violated Senate rules. He's accused of not disclosing a conflict of interest or his association with a man convicted of lying to a federal grand jury. WCCO's Caroline Cummings explains what a probe like this means and what comes next. And do you swear that the evidence you shall give? Wednesday marked the first meeting of a Senate Ethics Committee in seven years at issue whether DFL Senator Omar Fateh violated Senate conduct rules. Six Republicans allege he did just that when a campaign ad ran on Somali TV free of charge, and then Fateh authored a bill to send $500,000 in state funds to the nonprofit. Senator Fateh's uh, conduct violates accepted norms of Senate behavior. Portrays the public trust. An attorney representing Fateh presented a sworn statement from the president of Somali TV saying that the Fateh campaign did pay for the ad, but the group forgot to include a required disclaimer. She also showed screenshots of two payments of $500 to Somali TV on Cash App for the video. The allegations before the subcommittee today are fundamentally based in rumor. Kristen Hendrick said Fateh made a mistake when he sent the payment from his personal Cash App account and not a campaign account. Fateh's campaign only submitted an amendment to his campaign finance report Tuesday, reflecting the payment from two years ago. There is absolutely no proof Senator Fateh made that payment. There is nothing on the receipt that indicates as, indicates as such. No decisions were made. The meeting is the first step in a process which could spark an ethics investigation. Next week, they'll meet to determine whether to move forward or dismiss it. There's a separate ethics complaint against Fateh alleging he didn't disclose the relationship to a man convicted of lying to a federal grand jury about delivering absentee ballots without the consent of three voters. That will be brought up at next week's meeting. At the Capitol, Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. The senator's attorney did not comment today on that second ethics complaint.